In this video, we're going to take a look at solving inequalities that have variables on both sides. All right, so the first step in terms of solving these inequalities is we want to simplify, if we can, on either side of the inequality. And then we're going to take a look and see how we can get rid of all the variables on one of the sides and get them all on the other side. Then from there, we just use our regular steps in solving where we're going to get that variable by itself. So let's start with this one right here. In this case, we have 2x is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. Now, your first reaction might be to subtract 2x, and we certainly can do that. So let's just try that once and see what happens. Minus 2x minus 2x. Now, something that's a little bit confusing sometimes is people don't know what to write here. Well, we had 2x minus 2x. Well, that would be 0 is less than or equal to 3x minus 2x is x plus 8. Okay, well that's something I can work with. So we're going to subtract 8 and then subtract 8. So I have negative 8 is less than or equal to x. Then we should flip that around. So write it with the variable first. And one way to make sure you get the symbol right is make sure it's opening up to the same thing. And in this case, it's opening up to the x. So make sure that's the case here. So x is greater than or equal to negative 8. That's one way we could go about that problem. Now, another way that we could do it is if we were to subtract 3x. And let's just notice the difference in terms of the number of steps. So rather than subtracting 2x from both sides, I'm going to subtract 3x. So let me start by rewriting the problem. So 2x is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. And I'm going to subtract 3x instead, minus 3x. Then on this side, I'm left with negative x is less than or equal to 8. Now, when I get that x by itself, I'm going to divide by negative 1. And when I do that, remember, when we divide on both sides by a negative, we have to flip the inequality symbol. So it becomes greater than or equal to. We're left with just x here. The negatives canceled out, and we get negative 8. Okay, so notice we end up in the same place. The steps are just a little bit different. So be aware of that, and make sure that if you do something like this, that you get 0. Don't uh, lose track of that. I've seen that inequality symbol mysteriously jump over when there's nothing left there. So something to keep in mind. Let's take a look at this next one right below it. In this case, we have some parentheses we need to get rid of first, so we can make use of the distributive property. So let's go ahead and distribute the 3 through. So it's going to be 3b, and then 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, is less than negative 2b. Now, similar situation as what we had up here. We could add the 2b's to keep that positive, or we could subtract the 3 b's, and I'm going to do that so that I work to get uh, all those variables together on the same side. So what's left over here? Negative 15 is less than negative 2 b minus 3 b is negative 5 b. Then divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. Remember, since we divided by a negative on both sides, Got to flip that inequality symbol. We're left with just b here. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is 3. Flip that around, and we get b is less than. Remember, it's opening up to the 3. Make sure it opens up to the 3 here. Now, sometimes you're asked to graph these. I'll leave that for another video, but remember that we can definitely graph these inequalities as well. And also, don't forget that this is your whole answer. It's not just 3. It's b is less than 3. Okay, So anything that's less than 3, if we were to put it into our inequality, would produce an inequality that's true. All right, let's go up over here. In this one, we have two sides where we need to distribute on both sides. Got parentheses all over there. So start on this side. Distribute the negative 3 through. So negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Negative 3 times 5 is, oops, I goofed that up. Let's get that out of there. 
I want minus 15, negative 15 there, negative 3 times 5, then greater than or equal to negative 5 times 2x, it's going to be negative 10x, and then negative 5 times negative 2, remember, keep that sign with what follows it, becomes plus 10. Then, got to get all our variables together. In this case, I'm going to add 10x because that's going to make my variable positive in the end. You could go get rid of the 9x, that would be fine too, but in this case I'm going to go this way. So, minus 9x plus 10x would be just x. Bring this stuff down. Minus 15 is greater than or equal to 10. Okay. Now, another thing that's really important as you do these problems is to just follow the stuff straight on down here so that we don't lose track of any symbols and make sure that we have all the pieces that are involved. Then, we've got to get that x by itself. So we're focusing in right here. want to get rid of that negative 15, so add 15 to both sides. Add 15. This side we're left with, the 15's are gone, just x. Bring that symbol down, greater than or equal to 10 plus 15 is 25. All right, then, let's try this last one. In this one, again, we can distribute. So we start out, distribute that 3 through. So we have 3x, and 3 times 4 is 12, is less than or equal to 3x. Okay, I want to, let's get rid of the 3x. So how do we get rid of 3x's? Subtract them. So minus 3x, minus 3x. Uh-oh, we have 12 is less than or equal to 3x minus 3x is 0. Is that true? 12 is less than or equal to 0. That's not true. 12 is greater than 0. So what that means is that this inequality has no solution. We could also call it a contradiction because there are no numbers that we can put in for x that are going to yield a true situation there, a true inequality. Okay, So if you lose the variables, so if all the variables cancel out, then we need to look at the inequality that remains. If this is true, then it would be all numbers or an identity. If this is not true, like in this case, that is not true, then there's no solution. So, solving inequalities with variables on both sides. First thing we want to do is simplify on each side of the inequality symbol first. Oftentimes we have to do some distribution, maybe even combining some like terms. We didn't have any of those examples, but that could come up. Then, you want to get rid of the variable on one side, so we do that by either subtracting or adding, depending on what was there. Then, simplify and just make your way. Remember, solving means to get the variable by itself, so do that. Remember, if we multiply or divide by a negative on both sides, we've got to flip the inequality symbol. And don't forget to write the variable first, and this is your whole answer, not just three in this situation. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.